Hey what's going on guys? So today I'm about to install the roll center adjusters on the JZX110. Now that's going to form part of my big brake kit install. Um, I need it basically to clear the calipers from one of the lower control arms. So I've got with me here um, basically everything that I'll need to get the job done. It's fairly simple. Two bolts and you slide in the spaces and off you go. But I'll video the entire process. Um, I guess if anybody else wants to do it, they can follow this as a guide. So what I have here is basically everything that I'll need. Um, so yeah, these were the hard race roll sensor adjusters. Uh, this is the particular kit that I got, 6838. And obviously it's for the Lexus chassis and also the JZX 9100 chassis. Um, these are a 30 millimeter increase. Now, now people like Figs Engineering, they've um, oh, they've worked out that you only actually need a 17 millimeter spacer. So they do a kit that's got a 17 millimeter spacer. So originally I was looking for the 20 millimeter spacer, which is a moon face um, or super lap spacer. Uh, but unfortunately, after contacting Jesse Streeter, uh, he mentioned that they're actually discontinued. So if there are any um, Yahoo auctions that list the uh, roll center adjuster which is the part number for these cars are SAD01 they're actually discontinued so even if they're on Yahoo Japan the um, the person that's listing them will obviously find out that they're discontinued and won't be able to uh, find you them for you so the other options were um, like KTS and a few others that are out there and most of them are actually just 30 mil anyway Hard Race is a company that um, sells here locally in Australia as well, so I thought why not? It was um, easy to find and I, I grabbed the Hard Race ones. So this is the spacer itself. Um, I still need to figure out exactly which way it goes because you can see this side is thicker than this side. So, But I'm sure it only goes, sort of goes in one way. They supplied some new um, bolts with it as well and it's probably a good idea to put some thread locker on there um, so I've got some thread locker we'll need a 17 I think it's a 17 or something we'll need a 17 mil socket I've got a little extension here um, just to clear some of the bits of the, the the brake and the hub and all the other stuff around it now you can use either a breaker bar or I'll be using my um, Ryobi impact wrench it's probably a good idea also to um, hit the two bolts with WD-40 before you start. I did that after jacking up the car. Um, and safety first, just remember to always uh, put jack stands under the car. And um, safety goggles if you're using power tools. Right, so I'm just going to move all this out the way and show you guys what bolts we're working in. So this is the front passenger side. Alright, so this is behind the hub and you can see that's whoops, that's one bolt there, there's another bolt just over that side, I sprayed it with WD-40, so the spacer basically sits between um, the main hub and I think that's called the knuckle, where the ball joints are, so there's two, two ball joints off there I think. So what I'll do now, I might actually get my jack and just sit it under this main uh, control arm here just in case anything decides to sort of take tension off or go down um, again the sway bars are connected so it may decide to fling down or fling up but either way I just want to be prepared and um, just take care when you're doing this part so I've actually set my jack up just on the rotor um, there's not any uh, pressure on it upwards it's just sort of there to support it and now I'm gonna go back there and open up the bolts So I've got one bolt undone, but I need to resituate uh, this jack. Can't actually reach the other bolt. Uh. 
All right, so we got both bolts out. All right, so now I'm just going to see if I can lower this a tad and see if um, the lower arm drops. If not, I might actually have to adjust the... Um, if this arm doesn't drop, I might actually have to adjust the coilovers to bring it down a bit. Alright, so that didn't actually do anything. Let's see if we can... Well, maybe I have to lift. I might actually have to lift the rotor up. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. <clears throat> okay, I don't know if you saw that, but lifting the rotor up actually created that uh, created that space. So it is handy to keep um, a jack nearby just to lift that up so from the size of that mounting bolt area compared to this one it looks like uh, the end that's got the the wider surface actually goes um, towards the back of the car this is on the passenger side by the way and the thin one comes over here <clears throat> is aligning all this well okay maybe let's try that <clears throat> yeah, so I've aligned the RCA so what I've done is I've aligned the RCA on the bottom uh, the knuckle and I'm just using the jack to rotate the rotor into alignment we're almost there I think that's about it and then slowly lowering that all together and there we go at this point you want to get the um, bolts ready that they supply with the kit. I'm going to put some thread locker on there. Don't need to put too much on there, I've just put um, a couple of small beads and evened it out. <coughs> so that's one. Okay, so now I'm just going to line up the thread. Once it's all lined up, you want to uh, tighten them up. Whenever you're, using, um, whenever you're using any impact tools, just make sure you double check them with um, either a torque wrench or just a breaker bar and make sure it, it seems actually tight. So they're pretty tight. 
So once you've made sure they're tight, um, you can lower the, the jack again. It's a good idea to double check after um, you've been supporting something with a jack. Just to make sure you weren't holding any pressure in a different direction. <laughs> Yep, they seem fairly tight. So that's the finished uh, RCA install there. There's still one component which is, because you've actually increased that height, you've actually dropped the height of the car. So we'll need to adjust the coilovers anyway and just increase it by 30 mil. So I'll do that shortly, but that's, that's basically the gist of putting RCAs in. Um, you do want to get a uh, wheel alignment after this is done. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to uh, lift the car up on this side, go over to the other side, finish that install, um, adjust the coilovers, and then I'll come back and show you guys how it sits, and then go for a little bit of a drive just to see if I can notice any um, immediate differences. Probably won't really notice anything now until I'm on the track or go for another mountain run. But again, I'd, I'd want to get a wheel alignment done before I do all that. Alright, so update. I've done the passenger side, I've lifted up the coilovers, but I feel like the um, the adjustment, like the ratio between how much you lift the coilovers to how much the car gets lifted up has changed a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I may need to lift it a little bit more. Um, but I'll do the driver's side first and then um, see how that comes out. Put both of the sides down on the ground and then I can actually compare and see if it needs to be lifted or not. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head over to the driver's side now, get that side done. Basically the same process as this side, so I won't when boy you guys were doing the same thing again and then um, I'll show you right at the end okay so I've got the car on the ground now uh, I'm just gonna go for a little bit of a quick test drive I think I might need to lower it a little bit on the passenger side the driver side not too bad but yeah the passenger side is still a bit high I'm hoping after a drive it might settle a little bit more but um, yeah I'll go and do a bit of test drive and see how we go Okay, so I've adjusted the heights, gone for a test drive, and I've come back now. The passenger side could go a few millimeters lower, um, the front passenger side, but I'm going to leave it for now. Um, probably in a couple of weeks, just want to test with having a passenger actually in the car if I go on the track or a mountain. Um, I think that few extra mil might actually help um, with the weight distribution. So I'll probably leave it as it is for now. Just from the test drive, I noticed that initial turn-in is a lot quicker, so it's almost like it's a little bit more responsive. Um, however, it was a little bit softer of a ride. Um, I'm not sure what that's related to. It did actually corner a lot flatter. I'm guessing because now the stabilizer bars are actually working more in their actual functional or efficient range. Um, I will be looking at getting some um, Cusco stabilizer bars or sway bars. So that should actually um, help a little bit more with keeping the car a bit more flat, a bit more sturdy around corners and stuff like that. Um, it's definitely driving a lot better than it was um, before the RCAs. But as you know, this will be part of my big brake install. There'll be more videos coming um, related to that shortly. I'm just waiting to purchase the DBA T3 rotors for the front. And then I should have everything that I need. So I've, I've got the offset nuts, I've got the calipers, I might work on um, cleaning up the calipers today and painting them if I get, get a chance or I'll do it tomorrow. And then um, hopefully sometime in the next couple of weeks I'll actually have the brakes on and ready to go. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys. Um, sorry it's been a bit of a delay since uh, the last few videos. Um, I have been sick. I was actually in hospital with pneumonia. I, mean, I might have mentioned that in the, the previous update video. But, um, but yeah, I'm back, um, slowly working on things. As I get time, I'll, I'll edit videos and put them up. But uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the next one. Thanks again for watching, guys.